make a mocktail, Ashima mixed two 1 by 3 liters of soda, 1 2 by 3 liters of lime syrup and 1 5 by 6 liters of water together. Find the total amount of mocktail she made. So, what is uh, Ashima mixing? She is mixing two 1 by 3 liters of soda plus 1 2 by 3 liters of lime syrup plus 1 5 by 6 liters of water together. We have to find the sum of all this that will be the total amount of mocktail that she is making. Whenever you have a mixed fraction, let us say you have a fraction like 2 1 by 3. What does this actually 2 1 by 3 mean? It is nothing but 2 plus 1 by 3 that is 2 liters plus 1 by 3 liters that is nothing but 2 1 by 3 liters correct. So, similarly here all these mixed fractions I can write it like this right 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 plus 2 by 3 plus 1 plus 5 by 6 because 2 1 by 3 is nothing but 2 plus 1 by 3 similarly 1 2 by 3 is nothing but 1 plus 2 by 3. Why am I writing it like this? If I write it like this I can add all the whole parts whole numbers together. I can add all the whole numbers together and what will I get 2 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 plus 1 which is 4. Again 4 plus then I have the fractional parts that is 1 by 3, 2 by 3 and 5 by 6. These I have to add. Doing it this way is easier right otherwise what will I do? I will have to convert this into improper fraction. To avoid that what did I do? I added up all the whole parts of the fraction and I got 4 and now I have a fractional part here which I have to add up. So, what, what is the answer here 4 plus I have 1 by 3 and 2 by 3, 1 by 3 and 2 by 3 I can directly add because here the denominator is the same. So, I just add up the numerator 1 plus 2 divided by 3 plus 5 by 6 or that is nothing but 4 plus what is 1 plus 2 that is nothing but 3. So, this will become 3 by 3. What is 3 divided by 3? That is nothing but 1. So, 4 plus 1 plus 5 by 6 or what is the answer that we get? 5 plus 5 by 6 or 5 5 by 6 liters. 5 liters plus 5 by 6 liters which is nothing but 5 5 by 6 liters. What is your correct answer? Your correct answer here is option A. 5 5 by 6 liters. In 2016, the population of a certain village was 1,5250. By January 2017, it increased by 4,315. During this period, 9,242 people left the village. What was the population of the village in January 2017? So, what was the population of the village in 2016? It was 1,5250 and by January the population has increased by 4,315. So, what is the population because of this increase? That is nothing but 1,9565. But what has happened? Out of this 1,9565, 9,242 people left the village. So, now what will be the population after these people leave the village? Subtract and that will be your answer. 1,323. That is the correct answer here is option A. Three boys step off together from the same spot. Their step measures 63 centimeters, 70 centimeters and 77 centimeters respectively. What is the minimum distance each should cover so that all can cover distance in complete steps. How will we solve this question? What is asked in this question? There are three boys who are stepping off together from the same spot. So, let us assume that all the boys are starting from this point, this spot and the step of the first boy, his step measures 63 centimeter. The step of the second boy measures 70 centimeter and the step of the third boy measures 77 centimeters. The question is what is the minimum distance? What is the distance minimum distance that each of them should cover so that all can cover distance in complete steps? That is we should find out that particular distance where all of them can cover that particular distance in complete steps. 
or basically I have to find out a multiple of 63, 70 and 77 which is common to all the three numbers. Correct? I have to find out a multiple of 63, 70 and 77 which is common to all the three numbers or let us just directly find out the LCM of 63, 70 and 77. The LCM of the given numbers is nothing but 90 multiplied by 77 which is equal to 6930. The LCM of these numbers is 6930 means minimum all of them will have to cover 6930 centimeters so that all of them can cover distance in complete steps. The correct answer here is option A 6930. It was estimated that because of people switching to metro trains about 33,000 tons of CNG, 3,300 tons of diesel and 21,000 tons of petrol was saved by the end of the year 2016. Find the fraction of the quantity of diesel and petrol saved together to the quantity of CNG saved. What is the quantity of petrol and diesel saved together? The quantity of petrol saved is 21,000 tons and the quantity of diesel saved is 3,300 tons or the quantity of petrol and diesel saved together is nothing but 24,300 tons. And what is the quantity of CNG saved? The quantity of CNG that is saved is 33,000 tons. This is CNG and this is petrol plus diesel. The question is find the fraction of the quantity of diesel and petrol saved together to the quantity of CNG saved. So the, ratio, the fraction that we are looking for is nothing but 24,300 divided by 33,000. These zeros will get cancelled so I have 243 divided by 330 or uh, 3 is divisible in both the numbers. So 30 divided by 3 is nothing but 110 and 243 divided by 3 is nothing but 81. The fraction that we are looking for is 81 divided by 110. The correct answer here is option B. Raga walked 42.25 kilometers in 4 days. He walked 8.25 kilometers on Monday, 7.52 kilometers on Tuesday, 11.27 kilometers on Wednesday and the rest of the distance on Thursday. How much distance did he walk on Thursday? So Raghav walks 8.25 kilometers on Monday, 7.52 kilometers on Tuesday, 11.27 kilometers on Wednesday and the rest of the distance on Thursday. So what is the distance that he travels on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday together? Find the sum of all this. So Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday put together the distance that he walks is nothing but the sum of these three that is equal to 27.04 kilometers. So what will be the distance that he walks on Thursday? The distance that he walks on Thursday will be nothing but 42.25 minus 27.04 or what is the difference 15.21 kilometers. The correct answer here is option C 15.21 kilometers. A barrel has 70 liters 200 milliliters of milk. Jugs each of capacity 130 ml are filled from this barrel. How many such jugs can be filled from this barrel? What is the total quantity of milk that is there? 70 liter 200 milliliters. Let us convert the whole of this into milliliters or this is nothing but how many uh, milliliters? See 70 liters is nothing but we know 1 liter is 1000 milliliter. So 70 liters is nothing but 70,000 milliliters. So 70 liters 200 milliliters is nothing but 70,000 milliliters plus 200 milliliters which is nothing but equal to 70200 that is 70,200 milliliters. What is the capacity of each jug? The capacity of each jug is nothing but 130 milliliters or how many such jugs are required to fill 70,200 milliliters that is nothing but 70,200 divided by 130. Each jug can uh, 
have 130 milliliters each jug's capacity is 130 milliliters so to totally uh, fill 70,200 milliliters the number of jugs that we will need is nothing but 70,200 divided by 130 just divide this and find out the answer what will be your answer 540 7020 divided by 13 you can divide it and check the correct answer will be 540 or the correct answer is option B a vendor supplies 105 liters of milk to a hotel in the morning and 85 liters of milk in the evening. If milk costs rupees 20 per liter, then how much money is due to the vendor per week? A vendor supplies 105 liters of milk to a hotel in the morning and 85 liters of milk in the evening. So totally, how many liters of milk has the vendor supplied? 105 plus 85 this is the milk that he supplies in one day or I can say that the total milk that he supplies is nothing but 190 liters 105 plus 85 that is 190 liters and it is given that the cost of one liter of milk is 20 rupees so in one week what is the money due to the vendor so, 190 liters of milk is given per day and the cost of 1 liter of milk is 20 rupees. So, the amount that is due to the vendor per day is 190 multiplied by 20. And what will be the amount that will be due per week? This multiplied by 7 or the amount due per day is nothing but 3800 and this multiplied by 7 is the answer that we are looking for. That will be the amount that is due per week. The correct answer here is option D, 26,600. I hope the questions that we solved in this video was clear to all of you. If you have any doubts in any of these questions, please do let me know in the comments box. I will be happy to help you out. Thank you.